Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick start video on getting started with Nevron Motion in Lightwave. So at this point, I'm assuming that you already have a Connect. I'm using the Xbox One, the V2 version. I already did a video about how to set that up on your computer. And basically, once that's set up, you're almost there. It's not that hard to set up. And I'll show you a resource at the end that you can use if you get start having problems. But basically, once Nevron is loaded and activated, and I believe it's free for Lightwave users. I think they ended up giving it away for free. That and Chronoscope, I think. But what you do is you go on Utilities, you come down here to Virtual Studio, and you gotta go into the Device Manager. And sometimes it takes a minute to load up. And you've gotta have this enabled. Once you have it set up on your system, I don't know why my system's acting a little weird today. I might have too much stuff going on, but it's acting a little glitchy. Okay. Maybe it just takes a while for all this stuff to load. Okay. So anywho, you want to make sure that this is enabled, the HID is enabled. So I'm going to just close this. So you need to make sure that this is enabled. And then your Connect Xbox should be here. And then if you double click on it, this box should appear like this. And it'll ask you to name the device name. And it's very important that you name it exactly like it is spelled here so it's the camelback it's capital k i n e c t capital o n e underscore capital a and it won't work if you don't have that so you want that enabled as well so you want the hid enabled you want your xbox one enabled and you want the connect one uh, enabled and it should say ready status if everything's all good and if you have, you should see some live streaming data. You might not, if you're not standing in front of the sensor, but you should see some, some movement over here, at least on the body time, if things are working. And this is just in the device manager. So then once you're done with that, you can just go back into more Windows, Virtual Studio, and just go into the studio and just kind of leave that up for right now. And then when you get the Nevron file, it's gonna come with a scene file with the connect rig already hooked up so you just go load scene and you want this one is the one you want the connect one skeleton and then just go ahead and open that and I don't need a save copy of that and then the Nevron rig comes in and then all you have to do is you can click allow record and then you can click live to open live studio and what is going to happen is as soon as I press active the rigs going to collapse so let me let me pull out here a little bit and I don't have my connect sensor set up properly in my room yet so it's it might be a little glitchy and if it's glitchy it's not because of the the set it's because of the way I don't have a clear space set up for my sensor just yet so then all you got to do to see the connection and this is the first time this happened it's really cool you hit active and then the rig is going to clap because there's no motion tracking data so now all i got to do is just go stand in front of it so i'm going to step away from the headphone for a second And, uh, <laughs> and it's that easy. So so the next step from here is just re learning. I'll do a video on how you record the motion capture data and then target it to a rig. But personally, I believe this has a lot of application that hasn't been fully utilized. So I think once you've got a something, a target, and you can control it remotely in a 3D software, then you could retarget that to anything any anything actually so i'm just kind of curious to explore the limits of what's possible but anyway i hope you found this helpful before i go i'll show you one more thing here i'll leave a link to this in the description but if you're wanting a little more detailed walkthrough there is this thread that this uh, gentleman greenlaw has done on the lightweight forum and he walks you through in a lot more detail than i do but i think i gave you the key kind of pointers of it but it works with 2020 in 2022 never on motion 
absolutely works with the the connect one like i said in my other video there's these units are available for like fifty dollars for everything you need and the software is free this is never on motion if you already own a copy of lightwave i think new tech made the decision to make this freely available and i guess everybody thinks this the technology is dead but but it's actually not so anyway take care and i hope you found this helpful